Yeah, how's it going, everybody? It's Richard, you know, Corn Caller. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is Thursday, almost to Friday for the end of the week. And usually during the end of the week, Wizard 101 doesn't really do much. But yeah, we got some stuff in the crown shop, um, as always. But a little main summary for the previous week. We talked about Wizard 101 uh, trending from Twitter, surprisingly. A little nostalgia here and there. I'm still mad at them that they didn't tweet nothing out. Like, they could have said something cool. Like, we heard you guys still love Wizard 101. We're going to make, like, Wizard City 3 or something like that. I don't know. I saw a comment mentioning that, like, not even Wizard City would be enough to really engage in the people. And I totally agree with that. Wizard City is kind of boring. I know a lot of people wanted Wizard City free a long time ago. But I feel like for Wizard City, there's just, like barely anything to do like it's not really enough to immerse you in the combat and the strategy of Wizard 101 I feel like you would need to go up into the higher bosses and like devour right like you need to get up to devour right or you need to get up to like Malastair or Caramel or Polaris like I feel like everybody needs to get up in there until you learn the, like the real strategy of the game because at low levels I feel like you don't really immerse yourself as much, but I don't know. I was kind of expecting them to tweet something out or take advantage of the whole public publicity, but um, again, it is what it is. Um, instead, they tweeted about some crown shop stuff that you can buy, as always. Let's actually take the uh, look at the crown shop. The mega bundle items are back, apparently, so yeah, there's some stuff in here. We got the magic carpet mount. And this is 10,000 crowns. Pretty cool amount, little magic carpet. Wish you could like rotate the character, but purple mount, pretty cool stuff. And then you get the snake in a basket. Now I believe there's another pet called like Viper or something like that. And it's basically like the same thing. It, it's literally a snake in a basket. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's there if you wanna um, get it, you know, it's right there. And then we talked about the Ancient Koi and Pet Bundle. I don't think we actually talked about this one. Um, I think we kind of skipped over that in our last video. But, yep, you get the um, the fish mount and then you get the, um, you know, the Tiki Pet. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. They just make these bundles, like, so random. Like, what's the theme of this supposed to be? It literally just says Ancient Koi plus Pet Bundle. Like... There's no theme to it or anything, it's just like, I, I don't know, it's weird. But I have the Tiki pet. This is actually kind of like a rare pet when you think about it. I don't even think you can get this pet anymore. So, yeah, because they took away a lot of the packs. So, yeah, I have this Tiki pet for anyone that wanted to hatch with it, or basically stuff like that. And you already know, we got the Raven-Phoenix combo, we got the Bure Frog, Great Sky Train Bundle, the new Marleybone Motorist Hood pack, which apparently people don't like this pack, the uh, new pack that we opened. A lot of people don't like this pack, apparently. There's actually a bunch of complaints about it. I think the first round of complaints I've seen was the mount. I can actually show you myself. Um, a lot of people didn't like the size of the mount, or a lot of people were just like, kind of confused about the mount. I will say though, it is it is kind of cute. It kind of actually caught me off guard the first time, but it actually is like a weird type of like designed mount, I would have to say. We can actually, oh, wrong, wrong lever. Wrong lever. We can actually equip it inside of here. But it is kind of like a weird design. I like the design of it, but like the measuring of it seems a little awkward and I don't know, I'm still kind of conflicted, but this is what it looks like. This is how small your wizard looks. Look how small we are. <laughs> look at the small. Dude, look how small we are. I love it. I actually love it. Yo, a lot of people were like, yo, this mouse sucks, but like, I kind of like how tiny it is. Like, honey, I shrunk the kids. Now, well, like. <laughs> This is a real mount. This isn't like Photoshop or anything. This is real. Like, look, we'll go into like Photomancy. I'll show you guys. This is a real mount. Look how small it. Look. <laughs> I absolutely. I think it's cute, but I don't know if that was meant to be or not. I'm sure they'll like fix that or something like that. But yeah, a lot of people were kind of confused about the mount. I think it's cute personally. 
But, uh, yeah, going on from that, then we gotta talk about the gear. You know, gear stat-wise, you know, pack stats never really had anything, you know, like, notable. But a lot of people didn't like the hair pieces. Uh, apparently, a lot of people didn't like how these hairstyles are basically locked behind paywalls or just behind packs, in which we've seen this already with tons of packs. There's always going to be something cosmetically pleasing um, in the pack. And for me personally, it was the dreads. Like, once I saw them had dreads, I was like, yo, I'm definitely copying that out. Now, again, a lot of people want to play this race spell card. Oh, God. A lot of people are going to think that King Isle's racist. I don't think they're racist. I just like being noticed in this game. Rather, these dreads were in the pack or not. Um, I'm just happy that we finally get noticed for once. Or at least have this type of hairstyle in the game. Because personally, I was never expecting them to have dreads in this game. Like, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Ten years from playing this game, you asked me as a kid they were going to have this hairstyle. I wouldn't believe you, right? It was kind of like these other hairstyles they had, and it just felt like they were never going to add any more hairstyles. And technically, these aren't even hairstyles. These are kind of like hats and stuff like that, or you can call them wigs. But I like all the designs of these, though. It's the dreads. It's this one, the little ponytail on the back. Is this one. This one's actually cool, too, with the little shaved hair in the hair side on, like, the left. I really like that. But, again, yeah, a lot of people just don't like the fact how... These are exclusive to packs. I know I saw that on Reddit, which I didn't even know I was popping off at Reddit. I usually have my Reddit notifications uh, turned up, but yeah, a lot of people didn't like that hair piece. A lot of people didn't like the drop rates for the pack. You know, just like any other pack, it's usually the same thing. I had to spend like, what, 25 plus dollars just to get the dreads, and I am so happy because I'm probably not going to open up another pack again. I know I say that. But maybe that will change in the future. But these, this is a pretty cool hairstyle. Like, I know a lot of people won't like it, but I personally like it. That's all that matters. I, I love it. I'm just, I'm so happy that they actually, like, put that in the game. I know the art designer, um, he was talking about the concept. He, like, he showed us the concept art, as always, about it. And it's just really incredible that we managed to get this in the, in the game. Regardless if it was from a pack or not. I kind of knew it was from the pack. From the data miners, they said that, oh, there's a new pack, you know. Um, obviously, it was going to be in a pack. Obviously, it was going to be expensive. But, again, I'm just happy. I don't, I don't know. I like that representation, regardless of how they um, get it. But, yeah, pretty fun stuff. But a lot of people just generally don't like this pack. I'm surprised, though, because I personally really like this pack. This is, like, one of the packs that I actually opened a bunch of, you know. I actually liked it. And, oh, and there was another comment talking about how some of the gear felt kind of, like, gender-based. Like, oh, it looks more manly. And, you know, I saw that. That was, like, one comment I saw. I don't know. Let me show you guys, actually. Not the floor remnant. Where is it? Well, here's one of the gears right here. This is what the robe looks like. And this is for both, you know, girls and boys, but a lot of people, I guess, weren't a big fan of how the design looks from a gender perspective. So, uh, again, you know, these, this is just stuff I see on my timeline and stuff like that. But let me know if you guys actually like, I personally like the gear, look. I personally like the gear. I got my hair. I got this weird mount for, like, one day. I actually have a bunch of one-day mounts. But another reason why I think this pet is act uh, this pack is actually unique is because of this four player. There's actually a four player mount. So you can have four tiny wizards on this mount if you wanted to. But yeah, I just think it's interesting how people didn't like it. So let me know if you guys personally don't like the pack. I would love to make a little review video um, about that. I mean, we technically just did. But yeah, a lot of people didn't like the pack. But personally for me, I like it. Thought it was pretty cool. Have some hair, have some representation for once. Pretty cool stuff. Wizard stuff. Now, today is King Iso Live, okay? So, at the day I'm recording this, it hasn't started yet. But make sure you guys check out King Iso Live on their Twitch. And make sure you get that free code because, you know, we all watch it. Just get that free code and we usually dip. They also have some Pirate 101 news there, too. So, again, we're just going to wait and see um, what they got for Pirate 101. And, yeah, we're just going to see what um, happens from there. But my name is Richard Unicorn Crawler. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.